Now, I know we're all excited for the upcoming Grand Theft Auto 6. We know that Rockstar is not going to disappoint. If anything, they're going to deliver, and they're going to deliver to such an exceedingly high degree. But while we're waiting, apparently there's been some shocking revelation about Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, in the past, a lot of us who have played GTA games, at least up till, let's say, um, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City, I think Liberty City, Grand Theft Auto 4 Liberty City, was the first that actually came with DLCs, like, you know, expansion stories. And they were pretty fun, pretty memorable. Uh, quite nostalgic when I look back and I remember when GTA 5 was coming out in 2013 there was a lot of talk and speculation about what could be the expansion what could be a DLC that uh, you know Rockstar is going to roll out in a few years but we never unfortunately got a DLC and what we what we did end up with is GTA Online a live service that is to this day quite robust quite lively it's got a huge player base i mean the huge rise of uh, gta rb is something rp is uh, a very big deal um but never a story dlc came out of gta 5 and we always wondered were they even working on one or were they not well apparently uh, an interesting discussion with joe rabino Ro uh, hopefully i'm getting it right joe Robino. A former Rockstar developer who shed light on why the much anticipated standalone story DLC for Grand Theft Auto V was never released. So apparently there was one and they never released it. And he says, <laughs> and this is, this is his own words, he says that GTA Online's immense success turned it into a cash cow soon after the launch, leading to the cancellation of the DLC. This is, a, this is a real shame. And this is a Rubino apparently worked at Rockstar's New York office from 2010 all the way to 2016. So he's been there for six years. Um, he shared a little bit about his experience. He revealed that the team, that some of the team that moved on to work on Red Dead Redemption 2 right after GTA 5, um, after the cancellation of the DLC, he also expressed his frustration over the decision to shelve the DLC, stating that actually, uh, that actually was a lot of the reason for me uh, being a little sour at the time because I was like, yo, what up guys? This was awesome. And you just, let, let's finish it. Let's keep going. And Rockstar just completely shelved it. This is, this is, it, it hurts me. Honestly, it breaks my heart to hear this kind of news. Um, and I, I get it because there was a time you know, in the video game industry, the trend was you make a game, it's fun, it sells enough copies, and you make an expansion to help make even a post sales of some kind. But now with the rise of live services, it's not enough to just sell enough copies and hit the quota or even make an expansion. Now it's about how can we make a product that could last a lifetime, so to speak, the forever game the infinity experience the infinite experience so to speak um and we've seen a lot of big live services who have been very successful fortnite gta online apex legends uh, warzone destiny 2 and i get it but i think this this approach you know because of how much of a cash cow these live services are we find ourselves losing a little bit of that you know um so some of that previous, uh, uh, you know, content, that previous value that we used to get with our games. Um, a big example right now is the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC, which, you know, was for 40 bucks. And people were always speculating, you know, this is kind of expensive for a DLC. But we ended up, we, I mean, the reviews, I played it. It's phenomenal. It's worth the money and more. You have to imagine at a time where uh, DLCs and expansions come in the form of, you know, seasonal cosmetic skins or a battle pass, seeing an expansion like this is such a breath of fresh air. And I could have imagined that a Rockstar, uh, Rockstar level uh, DLC for G GTA 5 would have been phenomenal. 
I mean, these this is a studio that's very ambitious with uh, their product, uh, with their with their uh, creative work. And they do take their time. They do demand patience. But when they come out, they come out with something absolutely uh, groundbreaking, setting trends. And it's such a shame because you could have had, it's kind of like you could have had the best of both worlds here. You could have still had the GTA Online while also coming out with the story DLC. I don't get it. You, you, may, you make literally on the reports, it shows over a billion dollars every single year a billion dollars worth of revenue from gta online why couldn't you just have a department have that team continue and he's and and rubino here says that it could have been done it could have been finished they could have had it out there and people would have absolutely had a blast it's a legacy uh for gta 5 uh, a very tragic legacy that's left you know it's left uncertain it's left without much closure and I hate, and it, and it reminds me that there's this part of the industry that I don't like where it's very profit oriented before providing uh, something of true value to its consumers, to its fans, to those who have supported these franchises and these companies for many, many years. It could have been an, a great homage, a great love letter for that community, something that we all look back fondly uh, and, and remember, hey, that GTA 5 DLC was banging, but we can't even say that. It's a shocking revelation because it, it brings back so much, it brings back a really sort of bad taste in my mouth, so to speak. But uh, hopefully it was GTA, 5, uh, GTA 6 release. Maybe there's perhaps a roadmap for some potential expansion. But then again, with how live services are now, I highly doubt it. Let's take a short break. We're going to be right back covering more news from the world of entertainment right here on The Evening Buzz. Stay tuned. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.